Hero Mashima. He goes by many names, you know, Mashima, Godshima, Gochima, greatest of all time. You can take your pick, but we're just going to call him the GOAT. Now, before we get the Mashima praise going, quick toast. I really love this guy, man, in case y'all didn't know. In four pages, he somehow perfectly solved one of the biggest growing problems I had with the series. Let's talk about it. Hello everybody, King Natty Reviews here and today we're going to be talking about some easy, specifically Rebecca Blue Garden and her time powers. Now, with time powers is always an iffy subject because people, well a lot of authors have ruined their stories with time powers used wrongly and also like stakes being lowered, stuff like that. So. With her having time powers and being such a main character, um, people were scared. You know, I was one of them as well. But like I mentioned, he really nerfed those powers perfectly. Like, I'm really satisfied with how he did it, especially with how her fight with Brittany. Uh, everyone was kind of shook and scared. Like, yo, is, is it just going to be like broken and there's nothing that can kind of stop her? But literally the next chapter right after, four pages was all he needed to really nerf that ability. Now... The three main nerfs he had for that ability was number one, the time limit is only a few seconds, which is, you know, a common nerf a lot of men got could do. Number two, she's only able to, she's not able to use it too many times or she gets physical damage. And the physical part is important. And then three, her three, she's actually anchored to whenever she goes back in time. I can talk about that more later. So, you know, with number one, only going back a few seconds that's obviously a big deal because now that makes her kind of effective range like the circle like if she's the radius right like if she's the center the radius of like how much she can affect is much smaller than if it was like minutes right and with that i mean like the distance she can travel in like a few seconds is obviously much shorter than like a minute or like 50 seconds something like that so literally you have to be within like a couple seconds away from her for her to actually be able to use her ability to you, you know? So if Shiki's like a mile away and something happens to him, since her ability is only a few seconds, she won't be able to actually do anything about Shiki getting hurt a mile away. Cause you know, it's only a few seconds. Her range, because it's a few seconds, is pretty small. And then of course there's um, physical damage. And the reason why physical is important is because a lot of these authors, they will do arbitrary kind of um nerfs by using like lifespan or stamina or vitality something like that and the, my problem with those is because like with lifespan right what we don't know how long these characters are gonna live like like where they would die by old age we, we don't know how long that'll be it could be 200 years 150 120 because it, it is fiction you know so you know let's say a character was gonna live to 120 but because they use the time powers now they would they would live up to 119 then use it again 118 use it again 117 like it's being nerfed you know a year off your life is a big deal but at the same time in the current moment it doesn't matter you, you still have like free range to use it because like your lifespan was long anyway like we don't really know when that um when that kind of stops and of course with like stamina they can pretty much roll power through stamina because like they'll be like oh you know i feel tired using it once they use it twice they feel more tired use it third time they feel even more tired but we don't exactly know how much tired they can feel until they can stop using it you know so it's like but here they actually showed her physically cracking when she used it like the second time if we count her use against britney then i guess it'd be the third time but it is the second time in that chapter and yeah, she was literally cracking. And the thing about physical damage is that we can visually see how much uh, how much like physical damage you can take, you know? So with, when she used it once, you know, she was kind of fine. And then when she used it the second time, like literally crack on her skin, like kind of like fog was coming out. I was like, what the hell? Like, I, I was actually scared <laughs> she's gonna break herself using these powers. So using like physical damage is a big deal because now unlike stamina and like lifespan we can actually see damage for her using it so it, it lets people be more comfortable for using it because you know physical damage we, we see the pain and we see kind of what she's giving up by using the powers right away 
and then there's the there's the anchor now i really like the anchor and what the anchor does is that it kind of limits you to how far you can travel so she can only travel a few seconds but we don't know exactly what number a few seconds is so she she has to pick you know whether it's 10 seconds 12 seconds eight seconds but whatever she picks is completely anchored so that means that let's say she went back 10 seconds right and then you know how she fought Brittany, and then she went back we don't know how far she went back but she did go back and then type the password and then it worked but let's say she was like a two two seconds too early right so she went back let's say eight seconds about to type the power password but she was just like a second off so she still like was about to die if she was to go back in time after going back in eight seconds she can't add it to like nine or ten or eleven she's stuck at eight it's anchored at eight you know so that's why anchoring is a big deal because she only gets one try when it comes to where to go back you know so if to solve the problem like if she goes back in time and if she finds out after going back once that to solve the problem she just has to go back two more seconds or three more seconds that's not on the table like it's absolutely like off the table so being paired up with like anchoring um you know n limiting the use through like physical damage and of course making the seconds and stuff like minutes or something like that it really 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 nerfs her powers and i really do i, I really like how he did it because like i said four pages he just did that it, it was actually insane and we also saw in the recent chapter i know y'all saw it too you know rebecca was watching you know a massacre right in front of her eyes people dying people getting shot and guess what she didn't do use her powers why like I said, those nurses are deadly, you know, like she, she can't just use it to just cancel out stakes, like people dying in front of her face, stuff like that. Like she had to use her normal kind of like abilities to go and save the people she could still save. But the people that died before, yeah, they're, they're done for, you know, she can't just, you know, free card, you know, go back in time and then kind of stop everything from happening. So anytime someone's kind of telling you, oh, you know, because of these time powers, things are going to be worse things are going to be nah like those three nerfs like all three of them working in conjunction with each other really really good because take out one it wouldn't hit the same you know like if we take out her um her seconds right like so she still is anchored and she still can use it that many times but if she's free to go back like a week a year or something like that like it's still nerfed but it's, it's really not the same and then if you take out the physical damage then yeah, she can only, um, yeah, she's going to go back a few seconds, but she can just keep going back those same few seconds over and over and over until she finds the, the right, um, the right amount, um, or she finds like the right strategy to kind of work. She has like infinite tries basically. And of course, if you take out the anchor, then, um, she won't be able to, I guess she won't be able to go back, um, go back a lot, or she won't be able to go back, um, a few seconds but she can still like if she goes back five seconds she can go back eight then 10 then 12. so she she, she still has like um free reign when when it comes to like when she, when like what time period to go back to so i really do like that all three of them was there you know because like i said some authors would just put one or some authors will put two but yeah like having all three really good really smart and for a side comment too, he did mention that other people have this ability, you know, like it's not just Rebecca with Cat Leaper. And this is also a big deal because that means that it's not just like protagonist powers that got Rebecca to this point, you know. So um, if other people have the ability, it just naturally feels more balanced because they're most likely going to be antis. So Rebecca has something and anti has something. So it can't be like, oh, she's she's a broken cheat that, you know. It's, it gives the heroes an unfair advantage. Well, the Antags have the same exact thing. So it definitely feels more more balanced that way. And I really do appreciate Mashima quickly nerfing it. Because, you know, the chapter she beat um, Brittany in, literally the next chapter after, nerf. So that was great on his part. I really did enjoy it. And I feel like going forward, you know, her, her powers is still, is still useful, you know, like, and we will still have stakes. So it's not like her, the powers are useless now. Nah, she can definitely still use those powers. It's definitely still going to be a competent kind of ability. But, you know, when, when they split off to fight, you know, if something happens to Shiki, something happens to Amora, I'm not scared that Rebecca will just undo it. You know, like her powers don't work like that. It's nerf. And 
yeah, what I do want to see is her fight, you know, a top tier. Like, just her fight someone that we know she's not beating. And then seeing how they go around her time her time powers. Because even with these nerves, people are still going to talk. So we, we, we do need that kind of, you know, top tier. Maybe a Shura or something. You know, just like um, doing like a quick kind of scrap of her. Just to show people that she can still lose. Like, people think just because she can go back a few seconds, she's beating everyone in the verse. <laughs> That's not happening. Like, come on now, y'all. But yeah, Mashima, the GOAT, the God. Shout out him. You know, I really did like what he did. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Now, thank you, and I'll catch you later.